The Chamber's annual Business and Leadership Awards event would not be complete without the board installation ceremony for the upcoming year. Over this past year, Board Chair Kevin Getch has guided the Chamber Board of Directors to a next level approach from working tirelessly to supporting the evolving efforts and programs of the Chamber to working alongside the team and reimagining the Chamber's perception among the business community. His work has not gone unnoticed. At this time, it's my honor to give Kevin Getch, founder and CEO of Web4 and outgoing board chair of the chamber to offer us a few words of reflection. It has been my honor and privilege to serve as the board chair for the chamber this last year. I'm especially grateful for all of you, our members, local leaders, businesses, and organizations that had the vision and fortitude to see the possibility of a positive future amidst a global pandemic. You showed that leaders aren't made in easy times, but are forged when times are tough. You innovated and came up with new ways to serve our customers and this community. When you got knocked down, you got back up and got back up and got back up. Even though the hits kept coming, you stood back up. And when social injustice happened, you stood up again and you said no more. I'm so grateful to be a part of this amazing community and to see how we have come together to help one another during these challenging times. It's been inspiring to see the chamber board and especially the chamber staff through all of this and how they worked so hard knowing businesses needed their support now more than ever. So they pushed and innovated, creating better ways to serve. When I look back on some of the most challenging times in my life, I realize how they were also impactful in a positive way. I wanna share a, a personal story with you. When my daughter was four years old, I was taking care of her as a, as a single father and also trying to run a business. We were about three weeks away from Christmas and I wasn't going to be able to make, to buy presents for my daughter, let alone make the mortgage payment. I really felt like a bad father, a bad provider. And, and when I looked into our cupboards to see what I could make for dinner, there was a single box of macaroni and cheese. I, I broke down crying. After wiping the tears from my face, I called to my daughter. You know, you're, you're supposed to give kids choices. So I said, do you want macaroni and cheese for dinner or just macaroni? To my surprise, she said, just macaroni. Well, it might seem silly, in that moment, I found so much meaning in her response. It wasn't about the cheese. She didn't care about the money and all this other stuff. She just loved spending time with her father. Over the next few weeks, I pushed and innovated. I rented out my house and moved in with a friend. When I got in a better position, I was able to buy another house and then bought another. Looking back, had it not been for the initial challenge that I faced, I probably would have never rented out my house in the first place. As leaders and business owners, you carry a lot of weight. That can result in carrying additional stress. I want to give you one of the greatest gifts I ever received, and that's the realization that if you can find value in past challenges, then it goes without saying that the challenges you're faced with in the future will carry something good as well. When the next problem arises, instead of stressing about what you might lose, you can get excited about what amazing things will come from this challenge. Not only will you have less stress, but you'll be in a much better state to face any challenges that come your way. Each of us has an opportunity right now and the responsibility to turn the pain of these recent events into a transformational experience for ourselves, our businesses, our families, and this community. While it can be hard to see in the midst of the struggle, my hope is that each one of you look back at this challenging moment in our lives and realized it helped you to do something different, something that maybe you haven't done before, maybe helped you grow into be a better person or helped you better understand others, better serve others, and maybe be more grateful for the things you used to take for granted. Speaking of being grateful, the chamber our board and I are blessed to be welcoming back Tamara Fuller as our new board chair. Before I stepped down from my position as chairman of the board, 
I'd like to thank the chamber staff for welcoming me into this position with open arms. It's been a pleasure working with you all, and I look forward to working alongside you in our new location on Main Street come 2021. It's my pleasure to pass the gavel and introduce you all to the Chamber's 2020-2021 Chair of the Board, Tamara Fuller. Tamara is currently one of the longest standing members of the Board and has been instrumental in the process of finding the Chamber a new home this year prior to her upcoming positions. Congratulations, Tamara. It is my pleasure to pass the gavel to you. Thank you, Kevin.